Our next guests are husband and wife who have devoted their lives to their faith. Today, they're opening up to us exclusively about the scandal that rocked their marriage. Please welcome Pastors John and Aventure Gray. <laughs> with us today. Yes. Okay. So, so happy to be here. Uh, th okay. There's so much to talk about. Oh my gosh. I wonder what it could be. I, I know. have no idea. So <laughs> what made you decide to come on and just clear the air with everybody? Well, I think first of all, this is for us a safe place. I've known you 20 yes, plus years. I know. Of course, Adrienne <laughs> and, and her husband, that's family. And mm -hmm. we just felt like it was time to share and to just clarify. And, okay. and get some things out of the open and just refresh the air. Okay. okay. First of all, I really want to applaud you guys for being so open. And, you know, obviously this isn't something that's easy to talk about, but you are here to set the record straight. Yes. So, John, I want to give you the platform. And we are hearing a lot of contradicting reports. So, did you have an affair? And if so, when did it start? The answer is no, uh, I didn't. Uh, but over a year ago... <laughs> <laughs> over, right, right. Over a year ago, uh, my wife and I were in a very difficult place in our marriage. And in that time, uh, I began to converse with someone other than a counselor, other than a pastoral leader, which is where I should have taken my yeah. issues and challenges and began to converse. And I was even in the presence of that person one time. But being in the presence of someone is not the same as sleeping with them. I did not sleep with anyone. I, there's no baby. There's none of that. And so it's important for me to take responsibility for the areas where I did come up short. Okay. Sharing things about my marriage outside of my wife and outside of trusted counselors is an emotional affair. It was wrong. I take responsibility for that. But I will not take responsibility for that which I did not do. As a pastor, it's important for people to know that when I get up in that pulpit, I come not as a perfect man, but as a broken man, which is why we talked about these very things yeah. at the first sermon of our church. Right. People act like this is something, you know, brand new, but we've walked through this. We have peace, but people don't. Yeah. So, oh, again, this, the, the, the genesis of this was over a year ago, mm -hmm. but we talked about this in May uh, at our church. And, and so we're moving forward. We're believing God that this will be an opportunity for other people to heal. Yeah. But I do yeah. want to set that record straight. So like you just said, you wanted to clarify that there was not, this was not a sexual affair. Correct. Because people could come up with hotels and voicemail receipts Absolutely. or whatever. What is that about? Well, here, first of all, that is the case. My wife and I, again, We've talked through this. We've walked through this. Mm -hmm. Being in the presence of someone is not the same as being physically intimate. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, Aventure, she was aware. We've walked through it. We have peace. This is not new. It's new to people, but it's over a year old, and we're going to move forward. And the reason why we're talking about it is because people need to have healing. 